Welcome back for the final quarter. GDFL match of the day, round 12 here at Baker's Oval this afternoon. And it's the visitors, Thompson, with a 15-point lead at the final change. 8-6-54. They lead Geelong West 6 3 39. So it's going to be a big effort by the Cheetahs if they are to get up here because the Tigers are kicking with the aid of a two goal breeze, I would think now. It's just died down a little bit, two or three goals, but have played very committed football for the opening three terms. And Alan Richardson at three quarter time asked the players not to let it slip now. And their season rides on this 30 minutes of football. So we'll see how committed they are in the final term. They're pumped up. And. Uh, Crucial win if they can get it here at Baker's Oval. Start of the final term. Evans and Savanka as they've done all day. Ruck okay, over the head of Stewie Scott there. Kick off the ground, Marty Ian Alley. Kick off the ground by Humphrey as well. Now Terry Nan Curvis, if he can pick it up, he's close to the boundary line. Oh, he's ripped off the footy without it. No free kick. And it's now out of bounds for a throw in on centre wing. That hum of the old victor, eh, at the backyard. Yes, and they'll be able to get out here and do the uh, ground after we finish. <laughs> Evans, thump away. Frank Ianelli can't take it with him. Cam Pigley, Gann coming across, and also Withers. And they wrap him up, and it's out of bounds. Just pushed about uh, 25 metres down the ground from the last throw-in on half-forward flank for the Tigers. Evans and Savanka to do the ruck work again. Savanka from the side, falls to Justin Justin, gets it to the coach with the outside of the right, right boot intelligently around the corner. McFarlane, Neil has got it now. Short little kick towards the boundary and Timmy Gardner. Gardner, can he keep it in? Yes, he can. There, gets around Scott. Handball slick to Highland. Highland for goal, but has sprayed it to the far side and one behind. So, Thompson got a 8 7 55. It's along with 6 3 39. On the Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. Scotty Cowie to kick in. And he elects to go to the outer side towards Russell Scott. Punch away by Martin and Highland. And the double team there for the Tigers. Wins out. It's a boundary throw in 45 metres around from the Tigers goal. So they keep it in there, which is what the call was from the coaching staff on the bench. He's to bottle it up in there. And uh, while well, they've got it in there, try and kick a major. Evans. Big thump away. Goes towards McFarlane and Cam Pigley getting back there. McFarlane, if he can keep it in, can he? Well, he does. And right next to the behind post. Now Neil. Now it's out of bounds. And gained 15 or 20 metres there, McFarlane. Hobbling a little bit too, Christian McFarlane. That left anchor playing up again. It's an anchor this time. Got in front of Richardson. Loose ball, Cam Pigley was good. Quick kick out of defence to the 40 metre line. Withers, can he trap it? Yes, he can. Quick hands to Bradley, back on the ground. Hand pass to no one in particular. Everyone stops and waits. Who's going to be the sucker that gets the footy? Now, pack of players have formed. Up by Verver said, give it to me. And uh, we'll have a bounce down about 30 metres from Thompson's goal. Early stages of the final quarter. And for those quality tested vehicles from $1,000 to $15,000, who are you going to give a call? I reckon you might ring Gus. Gus Primer, the car ranch down at uh, 20 Separation Street, North Geelong. Give Gus a call on 52721889, and I'm sure he'll stitch you up. <laughs> oh, well, free kick found out of that ruck contest has gone to JJ, Justin Justin, who has kicked two goals this afternoon, kicking from 40 metres out. And good kick for distance off the boot. I think he might have just missed to the near side for one behind. He has. Just allowing a little bit too much for the breeze there. So one behind. So 8-8-56. Thompson, Geelong West 6-3-39. Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. Cowie to kick in once again. Goes to the outer side looking for the other Scott brother on this occasion, Stewie. But uh, Tim Gardner punches it away. Inguison looked for the safety of the boundary line. Martin couldn't keep it in. So it is going to be a throw in on uh, the half forward flank for the Cheetahs, uh, for the Tigers on the outer side. Evans and Savanka. Evans controlling the ruck at the moment. Russell Scott though roves at the side of the pack, goes into the centre of the ground looking for Wigmore and he picks it up again then loses it. No free kick for either side. Clissold gets it quickly towards Withers. Over the top to Nan Curvis. It sits for him nicely. Goes with his left boot. Neil in front of McFarlane on this occasion and oh, 50. Yes it is. Little bit soft 
by the umpire there. Well, yeah, but, but JJ, I'm not sure where he was. Uh, he might have been enjoying Friday night, I'm not sure, but he wasn't, he just came in and put, put a, head, uh, a hip and shoulder into him. Well, he's given away the 50 metre penalty, which brings Neil into the middle of Baker's Oval. Richardson stands the mark. JJ is off and Jamie Backwell's on. Short little kick to Neil. Was going to Stewie Scott, but Ingwerson chopped it off for the Cheaters. So uh, he takes the mark. Pretty congested forward line. Kick partly smothered. Goes about 20 metres. Timmy Gardner can't take it with him. Lakino on hands and knees. Bottles it up at half forward. And uh, it'll be a ball up on the half forward flank. The Cheaters certainly need a goal quickly. Up early, Savanka, Highland out of the pack. Good kick towards half forward. Gann and Lakino both overrun it. Neil getting back there first. Gann's going to be right next to him. Oh, over the top of the footy, pushing the back plate for it and got it. Tunga. Yeah, good experience footy there from uh, Tunga Neil, who's done a great job at half back. Probably the most consistent player on the ground this afternoon. Chips into Ingsworthen and uh, finds him. You disagree, Jase? Oh, well, we'll find out when the votes come, won't we? OK, <laughs> lovely kick there from Ingsworthen to centre half four. Looks there for Denning. Clash with Clissold. Loose ball spills to where Highland traps it. Been terrific. Goes out wide. Martin takes the footy at centre wing. Chris Martin now. Likes to come to centre half four. Looks there for McFarland. The leader was a good one. Got uh, Oh, pay the mark. Oh, should have paid it, but umpire's called play on. Peacock gives good support. The kick, though, not a good one. And Cowie takes the footy. How well does he read the play, Ron? He's brilliant. Oh, unbelievable. Kicks across the goal to Russell Scott. Oh, around the corner, poor kick. Frank's, Frank Anelli's behind Timmy Gardner. Well, what was that play on? It was. He handballed, yeah, he handballed it. Goes to Stewie Scott in the middle. Handball. Oh, he's going to set a task for Ingwersen. It sits OK for him. Marty Anelli's got it. Gets back onto his favourite right boot. Back across the ground. Timmy wants to make up for it now. Handball. Back to Highland. He goes with the right boot towards centre half forward. McFarlane roving off the back. Richardson. Cowie on hands and knees. Gives it away to Cam Pigley. They're out of trouble again. He goes wide. Poor kick though. Over the head of Lehman. Savanka's there. They both can't take it with them. And it's out of bounds. In between wing and half forward on the outer side. It's 8-8-56. Thompson Geelong West 6-3-39. Ball out of sight of the ground. In between half forward and centre wing. Tigers just uh, a slight advantage. Zadanka this time got it to the direction of Ingsworthson at ground level. Lost his footing at the crucial time. Good pressure there from Aaron Bradley. And umpire Hillgrove will again ball up the footy. Just on the edge of the square. Ian Alley. A high ball. Good Bealy mark. travels the distance running with the fly of the footy there was great work, Christian Highland. <laughs> and he takes the footy at centre wing. Highland from the wing. Goes long. The long lead from Cowan in front of Cowie. Oh, look at him again. Just able to read the play so well, Scotty Cowie. And good kick too. Frank Ernelli under pressure from Timmy Gardner. Gets the kick away to Heath Box on the wing. He takes it in front of Richardson. He needs somebody to run across. Oh, he just kicks it high. Sets a task for Harris Atchison up there. Wigmore in the middle. You Can't break that. the tackle. He marked it, Ronnie said. I think he might have actually too, but the umpire couldn't see it. And But he sees the ball up after the ball's been bottled up there by Bradley and Andrew Harris. Sort of fell into his arms in the middle of the pack, didn't it? Well, yeah, he loves to leap. There's Wiggy, Harris, but again Evans does well. Harris gets it to Stewie Scott. Blindly hits it forward. Christian Highland uh, sort of ridden into the ground there. Boying's worse and up by Hillgrove will bounce again. This time it's at centre half forward. Cheaters into attack. Savanka gets it down. Harris, good tackle Atchison. The ball spills free. Humphrey on hands and knees against Ingwerson. Running through there. Savanka without the footy. Clissold tried to get the handball away. Bo oh, bounce the ball, umpire, will you? There's 15,000 players around the ball. Pick out a free kick or something and get them out of there. He throws it up again. Evans, Savanka. Evans gets it down. Ingwerson roves. Quick kick away. In, standing in there is Bradley. It was touched off the footy. Touched off the boot, the footy. So it's going to go wide. But it was a free kick, was it, down the field? Well, I think he got pushed in the back as he kicked. So the ball should go back to Bradley, I'd say. What an umpire, Ron Bryant. It has. Aaron Bradley's taking it. 
And Gardner wants it wide. He goes in that direction now. Timmy's up against Stewie Scott. Falls to the back of the pack. Trying to get out there was Rod Peacock. And good play by him. And the two times I've seen uh, Peacock play, I've been very impressed with his game. He played against uh, North Geelong at fullback and is up the ground a little bit today. And playing very well once again. Withers. Scragger Craig comes across Richardson. Close to the boundary. Away towards Gannon. Lequeno, good punch away. Lacuno. Back wall. Tries to trap it. Good play. Gets it back to Timmy Gardner. Tries to run through the pack. Got the handball away. McFarlane got support with Mickey Gann. He handballs back in board to Nan Curvis. Going to be under pressure from Wigmore. Drop the footy. No free kick play on the call. <laughs> You've got to be joking, umpire. He was caught red hot. <laughs> Oh dear, I've seen it all now. <laughs> Thrown up. Up early, Gardner. Oh, no, that's the square up. That's the square up. Well, the free kick's gone to Savanka. Cowie running off Cowan. Gets it wide towards Ian Alley. Two against one. Bradley and Smith. Oh, Ian Alley. Falls into his arms. Goes long. Harris and Atchison. Harris gets a hand to it. Who's going to be first to recover? Good play, Atchison. Kept the pressure on Harris. He threw, threw it out towards only as far as Menzies. And Dale Menzies relieves the pressure. Goes. Got a good kick to to Highland. He's on the wing. He's got a paddock. He draws a play. Goes with the kick long. Cowie and Neil getting across there. And oh, Neil can't take the mark. He's going to be under pressure from Gann. Good shepherd, Cowie. Then gets the handball further afield to Cam Pigley. He's on a half back. He'll have to be quick. And a short little kick towards Lakino. Can't take it with him. Only taps it as far as his opposite number, Nan Curvis. Free kick. Timmy Gardner should be advantage. Oh, it was going to be and then wasn't. A little bit indecisive, umpire Verbers. <laughs> He's rattled. Well, off they go. Good work, Nan Curvis. Picks out Highland at half forward. Loose up there. Ah, McFarlane. Gee, I tell you what, from limited opportunities, he's done a great job, hasn't he? Well, it's a free kick well, to Hayden Lehman, and I have absolutely no idea what for. <laughs> And I don't think half the players do. Craig goes wide towards Box over his head. Cliss Olden, Gardner. Close to the boundary line. Timmy gets away from one, gets away from two. Handball over the top towards the boundary line. And it's out of bounds at the interchange station there. On half forward flank. The Tigers attacking. The motion's running hot. At the backyard. <laughs> Yvette here just soaking up all the emotion. Should be a free kick there for a... A pull away by Savanka on uh, Richard Simmett. None forthcoming. Stewie Scott got it at centre half back. Goes wide to Williams. One hand. Won't be enough. Menzies ripped off the footy. Heath Box. Just a little toe poke. Only as far as Harrison Bradley. Williams. Handball again. Good second effort. Got it towards Russell Scott. Oh, good uh, play by Rod Peacock with a bump on Russell Scott. The ball was going to go towards Denning, but in instead went out of bounds at half forward. Time check shows 12 and a half minutes gone of this third, I should say final quarter of footy at the backyard, Baker's Oval, and the margin is still 15, 17 points, I should say. 8-8 eight, eight to 6-3, uh, Thompson leading. And uh, it's going to be a boundary throw in Harris to do the ruck work against uh, Evans. Punch away, Marty Ianelli kept it in front of him, Withers right next to him, putting the pressure on, Marty Ianelli, well done. Oh, then he wants to work back under his right boot, goes long. Smith coming out, big pack develops, has somebody got it? No, it's play on the call, it's in the middle there. Umpire Hillgrove will come in and bounce the ball. About 15 metres out from the Cheetahs goal, they certainly need a quick one. Harris does the battle now, Evans again. Wins well. Looks out there wide to Martin, who's in front there of Ingsworthen. Kicks off the carpet. Was good footy. And finds the boundary line. Cleared the ball some 40 metres. And it's now out of side. Half forward flank. A good 70 metres from the Geelong West goal. Heath box the high flyer. Lost the footy. Zadanka worked to Ingsworthen. Was good. Marty and Ali creates an opportunity at centre half forward. High ball. Harris stood his ground. Great mark. Good use of the body. Just too strong on that occasion, Andy Harris. Opportunity here from no more than 30 metres out directly in front. And uh, he's got to kick the ball to the right goalpost, Jason, to score here. Well, let's see if he listens to the accurate one, the sharp shooting goal kicker. 
Thank you very much. Harris, who has kicked two goals this afternoon, has done exactly what Ron Brain has suggested and has kicked his third. It's not a bad effort, is it, in those conditions? Well, it's pretty good out of 7 3 45, which is what Geelong West are. Thompson, 8 8 56. So it's 11 points of difference on the Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard, and the next goal will be very important. Can the Cheetahs get back, Chase? No. Ooh, he's, but he's thrown the towel in already. And we've still got, let's have a look, time check shows. 15 minutes gone of this final quarter. There's probably a good 12 to 14 minutes left. And uh, I'd suggest it's anybody's game Next of Next goal, very important. Next goal, vital. If the boundary umpires ever get the footy back in the middle, <laughs> they're on a going, Sunday afternoon jog. Yeah, they're not going very fast, <laughs> are they? They're tired too. There's bigger grands in the competition than this. I'll give them a tip right now. <laughs> uh, you're a hard man, Jason. Fair Sorry. Deal. I haven't had a go at the umpires today. I thought I'd been pretty reserved. <laughs> Don't start me. <laughs> back in the centre, Evans and Savanka. Centre clearance, very important. Evans got it towards Highland and Williams. Oh, through Williams' uh, legs there. Highland got the handball out towards Martin and Wigmore. Wigmore just threw it back towards Cam Pigley. Good play. Kick up and under. It's going to be okay though. Russell Scott Atchison coming. Oh, did he play on? No, he didn't, umpire Hillgrove said. And he's on centre wing. So uh, somebody picking somebody picking up Harris, are they? Well, no, they're not really. It was going towards him. It didn't get that far though. Falls towards uh, looks like it was Wigmore. Smith. Good play, but his kick's partly smothered back towards Wigmore. Dived on it. There was nobody around him. Then he gets up, gets onto his right boot, goes long. Stewie Scott, Ian Alley there. Oh, it's fallen into Stewie Scott's arm, has it? No, I think he might have paid it. Well, I thought he was going to play a shepherd on the West player, but he's... <laughs> well, he did. He did, but he changed his mind, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I love it. Oh, well. Our little mate up by Verbers. He's a little beauty, isn't he? Just, I hope the umpire's advisor's still around. Having a look. Well, anyway, Stewie Scott. Twanger. Ten metres out. Puts it through the middle. And we'll make a liar ahead of me if they keep going like this. Another we, goal. We have a ball game, gentlemen. And and lady. And the Cheetahs. And lady, of course. 8 3 51. Trail by five points now. Thompson 8 8 56. It's five points of difference on the Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. So centre clearance is very important now, Ron. Yes, it is. And uh, Richardson standing in the middle of the ground, hands and hips. Looking like uh, an Indian chief out there at the minute. Wrapped up. This bounce down. Clearance. Vital. Well, umpire Hillgrove. Making sure the uh, bound jump pies are on the point of the square. They are now. He puts it back in the air. Evans gets it down. Highland. And, oh, coming through Neil, but without the footy. Back will got a kick around the corner. Running back now, Cowan and Cowie. Lacuno punched away by Gann. It's a foot race. Humphrey and Lehman. Lehman towards the safety of the boundary line. Good play. Oh, he dropped the footy, but saw it over the boundary. And it's going to be a throw in about 10 metres around from the Tiger goal. And Denning limping off which is not good. The leading goal kicker for the league this year, and he's limping off the ground. So a boundary thrown at the other end of the ground. And uh, you're right there, Ron. I'm just fine. Uh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> Yannick back on the ground for Denning, who is off. Wigmore has gone to full forward, and uh, Harris back out at centre half forward after those two had switched Denning and him. Out of the pack, Richardson. Kick around the corner, and uh, has kicked one behind. So Thompson go to 8 9 57. Geelong West 8 3 51. It's a goal the difference on the Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter score. But we haven't had a draw this year yet, Ron. No, we haven't. And did that point that we uh, in that first quarter is going to be vital here? It could well be, couldn't it? It certainly could be. Oh, Cowie right. inboard to Craig. He goes wider. Oh, Mark taken. Yes, yeah, Savanka. More, good Mark. More controversy. More Cole. We love it, don't we? <laughs> Savanka, good kick in board to Stewie Scott, too. He's got uh, Marty Anelli running down. He's covered now by Menzies. He wants to go wide to Heath Box. He does so. He's got Russell Scott even wider. But he's got Harris in the middle. And he goes in that direction now. Or sets it up, though. Menzies. Harris can't take it. Roved, Ingwison comes towards Stewie Scott, kick off the ground, Marty Ian Alley, can he pick it up? No, he can't, Smith, under pressure, does well. Oh, handball over the top to Bradley's okay, bit of time for the youngster. Switches play across the ground towards the coach, he'll get a game next week. 
as the coach takes a mark at half back. Yep, 20, no, 19 and a half minutes gone. Richardson just slowing proceedings down out there on the outer side, half back flank, and so he should. His team at the moment enjoying a six point advantage. Plenty of footy left here this afternoon. A long torpedo punts up beauty. Back of the pack, man. Curvis couldn't control it. Williams can. Hand pass under pressure, not good. Gann threw it out. We, uh, and Curvis to back was okay. He's kick smothered. No, the Mediterranean marvel. Over the top to Twanger. He's left foot kick up the centre half forward. Clean ball, Clissold. Oh, Atchison, the rubber man, does well. Now Yannick. Oh, wrapped him up well. Loose ball spills to air. Humphrey. Left foot kick up there. McFarlane in front of uh, Twanger now and takes it. Tunger it was. Now, McFarlane. Up he goes. Oh, good, oh, mark. good mark. The Mediterranean marvel stems the tide for the Cheetahs. Goes out wide to Williams. Was good football. Williams now. The left foot kick up there looking for box. Back of the pack. Lovely grab from the youngster. Over the top of Withers. <laughs> Wanted it reversed, but they haven't. Goes to Savanka in board. In the middle. Stands and takes the mark. And uh, getting a little bit dark here at Baker's Oval. Savanka goes long towards half forward. Scott from behind. Both Scott brothers, in fact, punched on. Atchison attacks the footy. Running off uh, Harris. Goes wide. Floats the kick. Boxes in the box seat. And takes the mark. Goes towards Russell Scott. Ooh, and under pressure takes a good mark. Good courageous grab, wasn't it? Had to stand and wait for it, didn't he? Lovely pitches there by our technician director, cameraman, Brett Revere. Sensation. Don't build him up while his girlfriend's here. <laughs> She'll actually think he's good at something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> there you go. That was a bit below the belt, I thought. <laughs> Most things are with Brett. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> well, oh, Russell Scott from the half forward flank, about 40 metres out. Oh, he's gone the torpedo punt. And it's out of bounds on the full. What did he do that for? <sighs> I don't know. He would have been better centering the ball, him. wouldn't he? We'll, we'll ask him later. If Russell's watching it now, we'll ask you now, Russell. Why did you kick the torpedo? Yes. Give us an answer. But it's a free kick. Richardson waiting for the ball to come back That's in no hurry. Reason. Look at the scoreboard. Well, it's a goal. The difference, 8-9 to 8-3. The Tigers in front. And Richardson in the back pocket, short to Highland. OK. Takes the mark in front of uh, Frank Ianelli. So now... Highland just slowing it up. It's a little bit early to be slowing it up, I would think, but. <laughs> Goes towards Nan Curvis. Oh, Atchison. Good mark, the rubber man. At half back. Solid as always. Goes long towards the middle of the ground. Peacock with the sit over the back. Oh, Good mark. beauty! Good mark. Peacock wants a lead from somebody. Cowan gives it to him, so he gives it to, towards him. And, oh, the oh, plugger! Yeah. When they needed the mark, he took one. And he wants him to kick it long. And Cowie has caught one on the side of the head standing on the mark. I think Cowan. it was his coach, actually, that gave him that. Was it really? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be speaking to Stewie. Cowan, who has two goals two this afternoon. He's had a great tussle with Scotty Cowie. And he's about... 50 metres out he'll be kicking from. He has to aim it just outside the left-hand goalpost, I would think. And this to make the difference, 12 points. He runs in. Oh, it's a good kick, but it's not far enough. Punched through, is it? Well, it's punched away, which is probably oh. no. It's punched through. Just about punched the bladder out of the footy, didn't they? They did, and that could be <laughs> the difference because it's now seven points. Thompson are 8, 10, 58. Geelong West are 8, 3, 51 on the Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. So, 23 and a half minutes gone. Yeah, seven points of difference. That could be the difference. So, the ball coming back to Scotty Cowie in this term. Geelong West have kicked two goals, two straight goals. Thompson have kicked four behinds. Haven't been able to register a major yet in this final term. Cowie from fullback. Neil gives him a lead up the ground. In fact, he goes shorter. Lacuno and Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis attacked the footy. Lacuno didn't. And Nan Curvis, who's yet to trouble the scorers today, will be kicking from 45 metres out, directly in front. <laughs> it's all happening up here in the box. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Oh, don't start singing, please. Not again. Nan Curvis, good kick. Pretty close. 
but he's missed and one behind. So 8-11-59, Thompson, Geelong West 8 3 51. Beaumont's Pies and Cakes in the Car Ranch final quarter scoreboard. So not a, lot, not a lot of goal scoring done today. Just 16 goals between the two sides. It's been a battle of the defences this afternoon. <gasps> Cowie, short again to box, puts him under pressure. Handball out wide to Lacino's okay. He can go wider to Inguison. He's on half back. Little right foot kick towards Scragger Craig over his head. Clissold can't take the mark either. And it's out of bounds on centre wing. Well, he didn't quite see Shuey Scott there in the centre of the ground. Would have been probably the best option to go. But uh, it's footy. Out of bounds, centre wing position. Evans again does well to Withers. Little toe poke up the half forward. Sees that Yannick and Humphrey do battle. Coming in over the top of the footy there was... Uh, Nick Lachino and uh, Mickey Gant beats the players over the line out of bounds. Right in the interchange. Box there and uh, some music playing here. Thrown in, Evans. Thumped away by Savanka, Box and Bradley. Two youngsters close to the boundary line and out of bounds for a throw in. So it's 8-11, playing 8-3. It's eight points of difference. The Tigers with the lead. Close to time on in this final term. Evans in front, Savanka from behind, goes to Stewie Scott, quick kick smothered by Richardson. Oh, it's hit him in the head again, and he's already got the bandage on. I reckon he might have a headache tonight. I think he might have a headache tonight, but it might be a good headache if, they've, uh, if they're able to claim the four points. Boundary throwing again. And Evans in front, over the back now, and Curvis and Lacuno attack it. Falls towards Highland, handball quick to Timmy Gardner. Handball to Richardson, turns around, kicks off one step as he always does and gets a lot of distance. Cowie over the back of Cowan and Scotty takes the mark. He can't play on now, Scotty. Oh, what's he doing? Go back behind your mark, son. Well, time on has been blown, so there's still a little bit of footy left. Uh, let's have a look, 26 and a half minutes, probably a couple of minutes left. Can they get a goal, the shooters? Up he goes to the centre of the ground. Oh, oh great one-hander. It's an half forward Peacock, a beauty. And uh, out comes the Byro, Jason Doherty. That, that wins it for me. I've been <laughs> wondering all day, and I think that just about does it. Okay, well, Rod Peacock now comes in. It's a lovely looking kick, too. Over the top, Cowie knocks it out. With us. Out wide there, good work to uh, Stewie Scott. Picks it up there, Heath Box, Clissold, pushed him away, but he was good enough to get a handle on it. Wigmore can't pick it up, ridden to the ground. Richardson now ends up with a footy, kicks a long one, sta standing start again. Oh, oh. <laughs> Zadanka just about ate it. <laughs> Great mark. Scotty Carey could have hurt himself from that encounter. <clears throat> Sedanka now kicks the longest and a half back. The tall and the short up there is uh, Marty Ianelli and Ian Evans. Quick kick up there by Clissold was good. Humphrey B. Bear screws it back. Don't tell me he's kicked that left footer. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He tried to turn it on for the crowd. But the goal umpire was a little bit too wise for him. And I think you'll find it just about could be all over now, Jason. The Tigers are going to hang on. Nine point leaders, and uh, we're, we're 28 minutes gone of the final quarter. 8 12 60 Thompson, 8 3 51 Geelong West. So, nine points of difference. And I've been proven correct in one thing today. I've, didn't, I've picked West, but I said they wouldn't come back. There you are. Been a close game for it most of the day. It certainly has. But they just wasted that opportunity in the third term, the Cheaters. And Highland wrapped up with a footy. Play on the call. Marty Ianelli, handball, Wigmore's going to be in trouble here, Menzies wraps him up, but he gets the ball away, Stewie Scott, handball out wide, they've gone from one side of the ground to the nearly the other, Inguison takes it off Craig, handball, back into Wigmore who ran down from the set, oh, then he slips over, it doesn't take the footy with him, Clissold, handball to Atchison, handball underneath, oh, can't take it with him, was uh, Martin, and it's bottled up at half forward for the Cheaters. So not far away from siren time now. The Tigers with another win and keeps them in the hunt for the finals. They have Corio next week at home, which would a game a game which would they would start favourites, I would think. And Andrew Harris 
with the uh, free kick at half forward. Alan Richardson standing the mark. Wigmore gives him a lead. He goes wider. Lakino and Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis punched away from him. Back wall on hands and knees now. Just taps it out into front. Wigmore rides one bump, then runs away at centre half forward. Wants to go along with the kick. Just bumped off it just as he kicked it. No mark in the last line defence by the Tigers. Goes across the ground now. Bradley and Box. Box in front. Can't take the mark. Then wrapped up by Bradley. Tried to get the hands away. Richardson can't take it with him. All right. And the Tigers hang on. It was their grand final today, Jase. They had to win this one. And I'm sure that uh, the Thompson support staff will uh, be very pleased to hear that final siren. A final score, Thompson 8-12-60. Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club 8-3-51 in that final term. Thompson managed six behinds, while Geelong West managed two straight goals. The goal kickers this afternoon for Thompson. Three to Christian McFarlane, two each to Justin Justin and Mark Cowan, and one to Andrew Atchison. While for Geelong West, three to Andrew Harris, two to Andrew Williams, and singles to Marty Ianelli, Stuart Scott, and Ken Denning. So a close game for most of the day. I think the largest lead we had was uh, probably around about the 18-point mark in the first term at quarter time when uh, Geelong West actually kicked three goals in the first term. Thompson were unable to uh, kick a goal in the first term, but then uh, some persistence in that second term with the Breeze with five with five goals what well, probably proved to be the difference in the end. And the Tigers, in the final analysis, just good enough to hold on in the final term. Yeah, that last quarter was a real battle of defences. Uh, two... The cheaters credit, they really worked hard at midfield and uh, some fine work by, uh, again, Cowie defence. Uh, Stewie's got in the middle. Uh, Zdanka, again, I like his game. He's uh, competed well. Evans probably won on the day. But uh, also in that last quarter, Andy Harris uh, took some crucial marks. And uh, Marty Ianelli came into the game again after dropping out in that second and third quarters. But it was the Tigers who, uh, even though inaccurate at goal, ended up getting the four points, and that was probably due to the efforts of Atchison at centre-half back. Peacock at half-back was terrific. Uh, another good players were Christian Highland, and of course Ian Evans, I better mention, because he's controlled the aerial duels all afternoon, but I'm going to do a first, Jase. You'll, you'll love this. I've given three votes here this afternoon to the bloke from the losing side. Scott Cowie, clearly best on ground here this afternoon. Christian Highland, I thought for Mr. Consistency, I ought to apologise to Tunga Neal, but uh, Tunga's missed out. But Christian Highland was probably in the same category of consistency throughout the day. And uh, one vote to the rubber man, the centre half back, Christian uh, Andrew Atchison. Apologies to Rod Peacock and uh, also Timmy Gardner, who rallied well all day. So Scott Cowie, Christian Highland and Andrew Atchison for Ron Brown this afternoon. The guest video, Beaumont's Pies and Cakes Player of the Day. Once again, Ron, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. One vote I've given to Scott Cowie. I thought his tussle with uh, Mark Cowan was fantastic all day. Cowan with two goals. Uh, probably just did enough in a low-scoring game, but Cowie reads the play very well and was worth one vote. Two votes I've given to Christian Highland. He... Uh, Looks for the handball a lot of the time instead of kicking, and I think he probably should uh, kick a little bit more because he uh, is not a bad kick and uh, gets plenty of the footy today. He was one of the centremen uh, linked very well with Timmy Gardner and Alan Richardson. I've given him two votes, and I've given three votes to the halfback flank of uh, Rod Peacock. I thought that uh, that last mark, the one-hander at centre-half forward where he just bottled up for uh, Thompson was just proved... Uh, what a great game he did have, and uh, I thought in the first half when they really needed uh, a strong half-back line, especially in that first term, he and Andrew Atchison, and I apologise to the rubber man, but I thought Rod Peacock's game was outstanding this afternoon. I've given him three votes. Well, that's an interesting situation we've got here now, Jason. You've really mucked it up. We've got two players on four votes, Scott Cowie and Christian Holland, and uh, Rod Peacock with three and Andrew Atchison with one. So, best on ground is the tie between Christian Highland and Scott Cowie. I've got to go to the winning side. OK, our director has said, Ronnie, you've got to go Highland. They're the winning side. Christian Highland, congratulations. BOG here this afternoon. Christian Highland has the three votes. Scott Cowie, the two, and Rod Peacock, one. So it's Highland, Cowie and Peacock for our 3-2-1. and one. The major goal kickers this afternoon, 3 to McFarlane, 2 each to Justin Justin and Mark Cowan for the Tigers. The Cheaters, 3 to Harris and 2 to Andrew Williams. 
So nine points the difference at the final siren. Thompson 8-12, defeating Geelong West 8-3. Next Saturday afternoon, we might, well, I will be. Ron's uh, off doing his Playboy thing or whatever he does. I don't know what he well, does on a Saturday it's afternoon. Just the things you've got to do, mate, sometimes. The things you've got to do. So uh, I will be going with uh, Peter Walker to, uh, well, probably Bannockburn and Geelong West, I would think, at Bannockburn. It'll be a great game out there at Tigerland. So uh, we'll see the Cheetahs again, and uh, we'll be going out to Bannockburn to see the Tigers as well. So it's a battle of the Tigers and the Cheetahs once again. And, uh, Ron, I'll see you in about um, five weeks' time. Well, Jason, on behalf of the crew, I'm sure that you'll have a marvellous time over at the UK. It's uh, a tough life for some, isn't it? It is a tough life. You take a so. week off to go to the footy or do something else, do the garden or something. <laughs> I take four weeks off to go overseas. It's great, isn't it? That's oh, fantastic. Something's not right. So, I'll, yes, well, next week I'll hold the fort with walks. Thanks very much. And uh, I'll see you round 17 or 18, I think it is. So it's uh, not far away from the finals. And it's not far away as we speak now. So it'll be uh, crucial the next few weeks of GDFL football. Thank you for joining us in the box event this afternoon. It's, it's been a, fantastic. An absolute pleasure, and I'm sure the boys will be very pleased when they watch the replay. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Such a pretty picture. I'm sure they will. So, on behalf of Brett Ravier and Ron Brain, Jason Doherty signing off for another fine guest video production this afternoon.